Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. It's season 34, and this is the final war of the season. And I almost forgot about it. Um, but in any case, uh, we're going up against an alliance called Deadly Assassins. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead in here. First thing I want to do, of course, is check the bands. And Spider-Man 2099 is not banned, so we're going to most likely be bringing him in. So let's preview real quick here. They've probably already gotten started. Yep. Ooh. So the mini is already down, but I got to fight uh, Emma Frost and uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Okay. Um... Yeah, Claire should be fine for those. Should be. And <laughs> I ain't messing with that Ebony Mall, though I could, I guess. But I'll let the person who usually takes Mixmaster. That is Mixmaster, right? Yep. Um, Not so good with Mixmaster. I can do it, but if I can avoid it, I will. And we got Doom as the mini over here. Uh, I don't really have anybody unless I bring Nick Fury uh, instead of Spider-Man 2099. I don't really have anybody for uh, that Doom. But, you know, um, could take him with... Uh, Warlock or Black Widow, if need to be. Um, Spider-Man 2099 can definitely do that fight. Uh, yeah. If necessary, I would I would do Spider-Man 2099. He would probably be the best option there. All right, we got Warlock and Overseer. I don't see any major issues there claire should be able to take care of those we've got immortal hulk warlock should be able to take care of that i don't anticipate any problems oh and we have super scroll oh i really hate fighting super scroll i really really do um i think i've i can't remember if i've done um Super Scroll with uh, Spider-Man 2099. I don't know. But, you know, it's the last war of the season, so... Um, I think we're pretty secured in our position. Whether we win or lose this war doesn't really matter. won't change our standing. So, yeah, I'll bring in Spider-Man 2099. Maybe I'll get to mess around with the boss a little bit. All right, but for now, let's clear our lane before I go to bed. Yeah, all right, let's get to the fighting. All right, it's the last war of the season. So you already know a lot of people just don't care. We want to finish it, but we don't care whether we win or lose this war because we're pretty much locked into Platinum 4. The last war, we won. And that definitely cemented it. So there's nothing we can do to improve. We can't get to Platinum 3. And even losing this one, we won't drop out of Platinum 4. All right. But of course, you know me. I'm going to fight like I fight. No matter what. So this first fight is against Emma Frost. Now, I remember Emma Frost being so much of a pain. Now, you may notice that she is not awakened. That can actually trip you up because you practice and you have muscle memory fighting her with those reverse controls. But she's not awakened, so she doesn't have reverse controls. So if you're gonna um, evade, you just evade like normal. That can mess a lot of people up. People ask me, should she be awakened or not awakened? Doesn't really matter for her. I like her whether she's awakened or not awakened. But on defense, that can catch people. It's caught me in the past. So when I see Emma Frost, I usually look to see if she's awakened. And then I 
prepare to uh, evade normally if she's not awakened or, you know, reversed if she is. But as you saw, we didn't have any problem. She went down pretty uh, quick and easy. Now we've got Cosmic Ghost Rider. I don't have any problems fighting Cosmic Ghost Rider. It's a standard fight. We're going to strip away his armor. He does have unstoppable armor, but he doesn't really generate armors, if I remember correctly. So uh, he's not very difficult uh, to fight at all. Uh, but let me tell you guys something. At this point, you know, war season is already over. And there has been quite a number of changes. Uh, if you followed my war videos, you will know that we had certain individuals that were underperforming. Uh, sometimes they didn't even show up for the war at all, you know, um, and that was unacceptable. Uh, it made a lot of the rest of us feel some kind of way. Uh, our leader had told me before when I talked to him about possibly transferring to uh, another alliance uh, that he was going to be making changes and firming things up. And he has done that. Uh, after this particular war, when season rewards came in and all of that, a lot of changes. A lot of folks left, or I should I say they were asked to leave or get kicked. Uh, so a lot of folks just left. We've got new folks in. Some new folks are actually... Um, followers of mine so that's pretty cool uh and right now they actually move so quickly by the time i got to um making my moves in alliance quest both bosses were down and i was like whoa i cleared my path and and i was done love that i hope we can keep that same pace up but anyway back to the war now this fight when you're fighting Warlock, you always have to be very, very, very careful. Now, there's unstoppable armor, and he does get that armor up all the time. But I'm thinking, all right, she can uh, strip it away, as you saw. Now, he's going to get it back, but as you see, you have two timers now. The timer for his armor up and the timer for the unstoppable armor. So you see he has the armor up. He came back. Then you got another armor up from the unstoppable arm it's really annoying let me tell you but look at this he hit into my block and look at my health at this point i haven't even gotten hit but he's gotten all the infections on and all that i mean it, this is rough and i'm like okay did i make a mistake should i not have gone in here with uh my girl she's usually the best option for this node but Maybe not against a warlock. So I'm just like, okay, let's just go. Let's see if we can get her down. All right, here we go. And almost. And I did not want him to hit that special two again. So I actually parried and went in and we barely got him. I'm going to have to think about that the next time I see warlock on that node. I may not go up against him with uh, Claire. Uh, I may choose someone else. I I'm not sure yet, but she did it, but it was not pretty. And it made me nervous and I was stressed. You can see I, I took a little bit of a pause at the end of that fight just to kind of, you know, recollect myself. Uh, so now we're going to be fighting Overseer. Overseer, the main thing that I found with Overseer is that auto block mode he goes into after his special once i you know either wait that out or just tap him you know parry hit him once or twice while he's stunned he doesn't auto block so that's really the only thing that i worry about all right so i'm just going in like normal don't care about the unstoppable armor with him all right so now he's got that special one and i don't care if it's a special one or a special two all right, neither one of them are hard to evade. So I pushed him to a special two. I don't want to fire my uh, special off right now because he might go to a special three. So I'm just waiting, trying to bait that special out. He don't seem to want to throw it. Now he throws it. All right, as you can see, very easy to evade. He's in auto block mode right now. 
All right, so you can see here, I'm just, you know, biding by time, just waiting. All right, it, it's out. Now I go in, fire off my special. Quick, simple, easy. All right, so we push him again. We have to be careful because, you know, the AI be acting crazy. Did you see the AI decks me? Okay. I saw that. Did you see it? And that kind of threw me off, as you saw. And he got me uh, with a nice little clip, but it didn't matter. Down he goes. Not not too worried, like I said, about Overseer. He's not, he's not difficult to fight. All right. Next up. We've got a little bit left on Immortal Hulk, who's actually fun to play. And I've seen some really good videos on him where he can do some stuff. He's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. He has this high risk, high reward style play to really maximize his damage that is not going to, you know, tickle everybody's fancy. But it's all good. I like Hulks. And he's a pretty fun one. All right, you can see here, I'm just parrying until I can get all the um, infections up on him. Now at this point, he's going down and I'm trying to do the parry heavy to bleed him so I don't have to deal with his immortality, but I still did anyway. I was like, man, all right, we just have to wait this out. All good, and he's down. Just makes the fight a little longer, that's all. Just annoying. Now, if I had uh, Nick Fury, Nick Fury does it. Nick Fury will bleed him. He'll just bleed out, lay on down. All right, we're at Boss Island. At this point, I believe we already know that the war is lost, but we don't care. We just want to finish this up. And I do get to fight that Super Scroll. Dislike Super Scroll, let me tell you that. But anyway. All right, so this domino fight, Warlock is a great counter for her. Uh, there are others, but Warlock just does it very nicely. If you know how to fight domino, you can fight her with pretty much anybody, but a tech champion works really well. And um, look at that. You just have to bait that out. Now, if you'll remember, I fought her when I still had the input beta on and got wrecked. Don't do that, at least for me, because that was the main issue. <clears throat> Don't have any problems when I'm not running that beta. So I know it's the beta. All right, so here we go. We need her to fire that special too, but she don't want to. Look at this. See that? I, I'm like, no, come on, throw it. All right, there we go. Boom. Come on. Get it with that special too. Yummy. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Interceptions. Take her out. All right. So next up, we're going to fight Super Scroll with Spider-Man 2099. Uh, he is a pain. But I need to learn him. And I actually did learn quite a bit during this fight. Uh, so you're going to enjoy it in a minute. But Super Scroll, I'm coming for you next time, man. We're going to get it on. All right. Enjoy. Never modern soft coming back with a smack. Feed marathon, I'm a killer on the track. Never modern soft coming back with a smack. Last thing fools never lost his back. Thirsty for blood, it'd be more just like that.
So you can see me right there just laughing, right? Look at how much he had left. The only way he survived was because of the unstoppable armor. You can watch it back. I, all I needed to do was hit him even into his block and I would have taken him out. But what did he do? Fire his special. He kept going unstoppable. He went unstoppable twice in that last little bit. So I couldn't even hit him. So the special can't hit him while he's doing that. And then unstoppable. And I'm just like, man, are you kidding? But we got him down. Anyway, we'll be right back and you'll find out how this war ended.
And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war, but nobody really cared. Uh, now, if you watch the last war, you may notice, even though we won, we only had 29 participants. That was significant because we got rid of someone uh, who was pretty much dead weight. Uh, I won't say dead weight, but they were not performing as well as they should uh, and just was not going to be able to to work. Um, but we didn't, we didn't, I don't believe that we got rid of them before the rewards came in. Um, but that last war, I don't think they even, uh, placed their, their defenders or, or what have you. Uh, but in any case, that is going to do it next season. We have quite a few new people. Um, I think I saw like five or six, so quite a few new people in, uh, so we'll see how it goes next season. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.